All right, one more look at this forecast, and we still have the tropics to think about. We do still have the tropics. Two storms out there, nothing in the Gulf. So great. that, yes, great news. <laughs> but we do have these two that are still out here in the Atlantic. We have Sam, and Sam is still a major hurricane, a Category 3 hurricane, with sustained winds of 125 miles an hour. It is expected to continue to slowly weaken from here down into a category two by tomorrow and then eventually finally dissipate as it continues to move way north. Our satellite image doesn't even come in all the way to show you exactly where Sam is moving. Meanwhile, Victor now a tropical depression and it will continue to dissipate out here in the Atlantic as well. We are almost done with our 2021 storm names. Last name on the list is Wanda. So Wanda, it, Wanda, our very last name. If we get Wanda, then we will have to move on to our extra storm names. We have a whole new list that we would go to. Remember now we're not doing the Greek letters anymore, the Greek alphabet. So we would move on to this list of names. So maybe some of you get a shot at seeing your name, but Let's just keep it on the Atlantic. No Gulf storms. And the good news is there's no signs of development within the next five days as well. So here at home, this is what we're dealing with. Rain chances over the next few days. Then the cold front arrives on Monday. And behind the cold front is when the nice weather moves on in. The sunny and less humid weather will start on Tuesday. Right now, most of us in the 70s. Bell Chase coming in right at 80 degrees. The rest of us are in the 70s right now. We are tracking rain out there, however a little bit more rain still moving through portions of the North Shore, a little bit of light drizzles near Bogalusa and then Hammond trying to dry out now. We've also been watching this rain still holding together. Heads up for Laplace looks like maybe a little bit more rain moving towards you. A lot of this rain is going to lose momentum after sunset, but still we'll keep an eye on all of this rain that we are tracking out there. Some lightning there popping as well. So overnight tonight, an isolated shower possible. Temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s. It will be mostly cloudy out there. And then tomorrow, right back into the middle 80s with rain. 70% chance for rain for our Sunday. So if you're tailgating, bring a raincoat just in case. It can't roll out some isolated showers. More showers and storms really crank up in the afternoon, and you will likely be dodging them on your drive home from the game. Rain chances stay high on Monday again because of that cold front, but then notice that the drier air starts to move in on Tuesday. Rain chances will fall and the less humid air will move in. So with this cold front, it's not going to significantly cool us down. You can see here temperatures stay in the 80s. However, it will be less humid, so it'll be much more comfortable in the 80s. Really pleasant overall, especially in the mornings when we're coming in in the 60s, parts of the North Shore perhaps even reaching into the 50s. Wednesday and Thursday morning.